What's up guys, girls, and people who wake up at 5 a.m. to get their morning run in before the sun comes up? So we're all aware of the game modes in GD, right? There's like six of them, seven of them. Cube, ship, ball, UFO, wave, robot, and spider. All the classics, the classics. What if there were more though? So today I'm gonna be trying to do that. I'm gonna be trying to create some ideas for custom game modes using only the ones that are currently in the game. So I'm probably gonna be using a lot of orbs, a lot of blocks, a lot of pads perhaps. And let me just really quickly find a song that isn't copyrighted. So we've got uh, Outbreaker, a classic, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the little, little intro, just, you know, whatever. So the game mode idea that actually gave me this idea was this kind of a concept, where it's it's a wave, but there's a, there's a pink dash orb, like, inside of you the entire time. That was my idea. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna allow multi-activate, make it invisible. Uh, we're gonna do follow player Y for however long, a billion seconds. And then we're gonna do a move trigger to follow the X. I think we're done already. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. So you got this kind of idea, right? So it functions like a wave, but you can hold to like, stay still. I, I think that that could work. I think that there's potential for interesting gameplay there. Um, and it still dies to the slopes. So it's still like a mechanic. I think it is interesting, because this is kind of similar to how I, I remember a lot of people thought the wave was going to work. Um, I remember when, when the sneak peek came out, a lot of people thought the wave was going to be like a tap to swap gravity, not like a hold game mode. So I feel like this is a lot more in touch with uh, the roots of what a lot of people thought the wave was going to be originally. It is! <laughs> it is hard to to uh to get used to that is, it is a weird game mechanic uh that we are creating here and then we'll <laughs> we'll do something else here so i guess we're just gonna i guess we're just gonna build around this structuring i want to make this pretty uh forgiving but before we make it forgiving i just want to remind you that if you are enjoying the video so far to hit subscribe baby yeah we absolutely smashed 100k and now we're setting our sights on 200k let's go all right back to game modes uh, I don't want this to be, like, impossible. So I'm gonna make these slopes fairly lenient with uh, their distance. As well as when I put spikes on here, it's gonna be pretty lenient. And then I think at this point, this is where we'll do the D blocks. It's also very weird trying to structure this because since this game mode uh, moves completely differently than like anything else, it's weird to trying to figure out how I would do the rough outline. Cause like if this was just a wave, it'd be easy peasy. You know, you do like this, 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 you know, it's super easy. But with this, <laughs> I'm a little bit more confused as to how I want to go about this. Cause I don't want to just follow the wave trail as like a line. I, Cause I feel like the corridors are what I want you to shoot for, right? Like it doesn't matter how long you let go for as long as you get into like this straight pathway so it is an interesting design conundrum you think it'd be too mean to put a coin route up here <laughs> if you go up and over the spike block i'm gonna do it i think it's kind of funny i don't know how hard it is it's probably really hard uh, but comedy takes priority over playability in my opinion <laughs> all right i think now that i'm kind of in the groove of it it's a bit easier to structure now it's still very weird like i'm flipping slopes all over the place because i keep realizing that i like place them wrong but for the most part this is this is working and i'm excited to see how hard this section actually ends up being <laughs> i i think that verifying this level would be cool but i'm not sure what other kinds of silly game modes i'll end up thinking of so i don't know how feasible that one's gonna be i think we're done i think we're done with this uh section this gameplay if you will all right let's uh let's play test it let's try this out i need to see how hard this is oh the ground isn't all right oh <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. That is hard to get used to. What the heck, dude? That is so hard. Oh, I almost did it. I almost did it. That's so hard. Oh my god. Wait, can I get used to this? Dude, it's so weird. No! <laughs> okay, so I've concluded that the only reason I'm getting as far as I am in this is because it sinks to the music, kind of. Because um, when it, like, when I can't read it, I can just fall back on the the sync. Like I'm like, oh, I don't know what's going on. I uh, just click to the music, and and it gets me a bit further. But other than that, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we did it. We did it. We did it. Didn't get the coin though. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if the coin is possible, quite frankly. So give you a second to get back into it, fall back onto the cube, and then um, we'll put a pad here that just puts you into the next thing. All right, are you guys ready for my awesome game mode? Here we go. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? No, okay, so, okay, so yes, to be fair, th this is just the swing copter for the most part. However, it can do one thing that the swing copter can't, and that's, uh, this sort of weird, like, what is this, like a, like a triangle wave pattern? I think that it is kind of interesting. I don't know how much, uh, interesting gameplay we're gonna get out of it, uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. I think I wanna try and put click indicators down, because this is definitely something I could see being kinda weird. This one's like a double click, I might wanna put like a square there or something. I don't, I don't know why I did that, I don't know why I decided to do a double click, but it is kinda funny, so... Eh, it's close enough. Yeah, I think that we're definitely going to be pretty leaning on the gameplay. Um, <laughs> this first part will probably be the hardest part, honestly. Just because I, I want to sort of abuse the, the fast gravity shifting. But after that, it'll be smooth sailing. I feel like it's going to be a lot of big saws. I feel like big saws are just real convenient because of their circular hitboxes. I don't want the gameplay to look too boring, but it's a swing copter. Y'all seen how empty the swing copter in, in, in Dash is? Like, give me a break, give me a break. If Rob Top, if Rob Top is, uh, is, is going easy on the, the gameplay, I don't gotta go crazy. I'm just trying to make a GD video. Uh, on the very off chance that Rob Top's watching this video, that was not an insult. I love you, Rob Top. Please give me the 2.2 beta key. This is this, this is probably fine, right? This is like probably good. Hard enough, probably. Surely, sh surely I don't need to make it harder than this. I'm actively making it harder than this as I speak. All right, I think that's good. Um, let's play test it now. Okay, I didn't realize that the click indicators were like basically in the saws. I think that works, right? Yeah, that works. That's fine. What else can we do? Oh wait, should we give these names? I feel like I feel like good game modes need names. What do I want to call this one? With its jerky up and down motion and holding. I can't think of something that goes in such like such a rigid motion. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what this is? the skateboard you got your skateboard ramps and then you got your plateaus where you ride around a little bit and then you go down and then you go back up and it's, it's not necessarily as um rigid and harsh of a motion in real life but but it, it's 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 a skateboard it's the this is the skateboard all right cool cool i don't know what i'm gonna call this one okay this is definitely a concept um, but I feel like it's too annoying to like, I feel like it's too annoying to build gameplay around. Like this looks like an incredibly annoying thing to control. <laughs> okay, wait, there we go. We'll call it the dive bomber. <laughs> Every time you click, you just get yeeted into the floor. We're definitely gonna have to use some gravity portals to make this playable. Otherwise it's just gonna be this the whole time. But I think that that's, I think we can make it happen. It's really hard to map out gameplay for this. This is throwing my brain off so much. Oh, that's an idea. We could put a, a couple of uh, gravity portals here that you gotta like rapidly spam through maybe. Don't know how good of an idea that is, but I mean, it's an idea. <laughs> that looks kind of silly, but it, I mean, it works. <laughs> Oh man, it is it is really hard. Th this might be the hardest thing. This this might actually this might actually be just like the hardest thing I've done because I oh my god, dude. This is this is hard. I I don't this is oh, dear lord. It's so hard to tell my brain to like hold for a certain amount of time but then let go to like glide over a portal. Like this Oh my god, dude. This is like how to reprogram your brain 101, dude. This is, this is wild. Okay, I think that we got it, um, but we need to also click here. We need to click one more time here. And then let go, hold on. Wait, if we let go there, I think we win. Oh, kind of, but we got it way too late. Okay, wow, I really just messed that up, huh? Oh, dude, I had it, but I clicked again. I need to, okay, I need to not click there. 
Oh, I did it. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, dear lord. Okay. This is so hard. Okay. All right. We finally got it. I'm going to be incredibly lenient uh, if possible. Because honest to God, if you don't do it the way that I'm intending you to, you'll probably die anyways. If you do it the wrong way, what are the odds that you live anyways? Like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna cheese this part and live to tell the tale, I think. <laughs> so I, I'm not gonna be crazy hard for people that do do it the right way. But oh my God, this is a crazy part. I don't think this game mode should ever be added to, uh, to GD. And I guarantee just based on how how, I guarantee based on how wide my fan base is, there's probably gonna be someone out there that's like, no, I think this game actually looks pretty fun. And to that I say, you are a madman. This, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't think I'd ever wanna play a level with this. They don't call it the dive bomber for nothing. Oh my, could try, I, I, could, I, I could try and give them their own portal color. Oh, maybe I should do that now. What's the harm in it? I could, I could give him a custom portal color. I'll finish structuring this gameplay and then I'll give him a custom portal color and then I'll, I'll call it for the video. I think that's a, an appropriate place to end. And yes, I am counting the kindest swing copter as a separate game mode because as I pointed out, it does have kind of different functionality. It's not exactly the same. It's mostly the same and it can be used the same. But I'm still proud of my creativity. Let me have this, dude. It's late at night. I'm hungry. Like, I'm... Just let me have this. All right, I think we're... I think we're done with our, uh... Our dive bomber section. And we'll end with a little tiny wave part, because why not? You know, go back to a regular game mode. All right, we are done with that. Uh, there's only one thing left to do that I mentioned, and we are now gonna go back and, uh... Pick game mode portals for, uh... For all of these. Ah, uh, of course the skateboard. I know that like coloring game mode portals is always kind of disgusting looking. Yeah, that looks, that looks delicious. <laughs> skateboard has always given off kind of a green energy to me. Maybe like a, like a teal green energy. Yeah, that's a skateboard color, I'd say. Uh, then we have the kind of copter, the not exactly a copter. I think that maybe we'll just give this one like dark yellow as a nod to the actual swing copter. All right. And, uh, what's left? Uh, the dive bomber portal. <laughs> I think a dark red suits this one quite well, honestly. It's very difficult. It's very evil looking. It's very, very sinister. I, I think that's good. Um, let's try and play test some of this. We actually didn't even play our, uh, swing copter part, I don't think. All right. We got click indicators. Let's do this. Oh, wow, I actually made it a little bit further. Oh, that's not a click, that's a hold. I'm a fool. Ooh, clean! Okay. Do you guys think that we could verify it? You, you think that I could verify this? I'll give it a shot. All right, we got our skateboard section. Oh, almost, actually. Come on, dude, I'm clicking to the music. Why am I dying? Gravity portal that killed me in playtesting too. What's going on here? All right, come on. I can absolutely do this. This would be the first one of my levels that I've like verified legit in a hot minute. Most of the time I just like verify hack them so you guys can play them. Okay, I think I meant to put D blocks on that final corridor anyways, because I don't think you should die when you're like basically there. Oh, it hurts so much. It hurts. It hurts so dearly. Dude, why? Oh my God, dude. No! 
I had it. I had it, but I didn't let go. I didn't let go. I didn't let go. I didn't let go. This is hard. Well, I figure now's as good a time as any to uh, thank all of my members. So, uh, especially thanks to all the channel members, including the Carl, Village, Gato, Wintera, HXC, Penji Plays 149, Zandlol, I guess, and Pineapple Guy. Uh, really appreciate you guys. Uh, you guys keep me motivated in these trying times. And, you know, if I were uh, creating Geometry Ash, I would give you guys beta access to try out the skateboard. Thank you for the support, means a lot to me. And uh, let's verify this now. Okay, but could you imagine how cool it would have been if I actually did do it on that attempt? Oh, this stupid, this stupid click, dude. What is wrong with this click? This click sucks! I hate it! Oh my god, dude, I messed it up, dude. I got scared. I accidentally let go and didn't hold, and then I... That's so stupid! I hit the corner of the block! That's so dumb! Oh my god! Did it! What? Collect all the coins? What?